The future is wide open with where VR is going to go. The VR thing is completely new to me. I had no idea that it was that in-depth. The old days of this, turning on your gear, are over, and that's kind of exciting. You put it together, manipulate it, energize it, and see that it works, and if it doesn't, understand why without the, the risk of an arc fault. That's huge. Seeing all the PowerMod install, seeing how easy it was, the more I know about how it's installed, uh, the easier it is to sell it and answer questions about it. Being able to semi-physically do it is good for me because then I can explain to the customer just how it gets installed. This is where the installation and time savings are. Everybody wants to do it. They're used to being in a virtual world and it brings that right away without us having to coax them into some boring old form of education. It'll make them a more efficient worker. It can condition them, give them some experiential training and if it makes them safer and it saves somebody from a potential life-threatening incident, it's worth it, every bit of it. I could walk all the way up to it and look behind what I had just screwed in. With the VR, you don't need to have just one instructor, but you can have everyone learning the same thing guided at the same time. The idea of having somebody that's remote be able to get in the same virtual space, walk somebody through an issue they might have. Now we've just saved a whole bunch of time, and, and that's a, an example of something I, I could see a benefit. Going into the VR, I thought it was gonna be very complicated. If I could go from school and then just go home and play building panels, like, absolutely.